everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today we have another floss tube. It's number four and four is my favorite number so I hope this will be one of my favorite floss tubes ever. Uh, I have just finished trying to record this in a different way but unfortunately my camera is just not great enough on my computer to do this so not in the way that I want to do it, so I'm going to start over, and that gives me more of a chance to chat with you first. Um, I wanted to let you know, guys know, so today is December the 6th, which is crazy to me. Um, we are almost finished with the first week of December, and um, I hope everybody is having a fun time buying stuff for the holidays and getting presents for people and whatever you might be doing. And if you're not buying presents and doing that kind of ruckus, I hope that you're having a safe and fun time for yourself. Uh, not everybody has a great Christmas time, and I totally understand that. And that's why I'm actually going to be participating in something that I want you to know about. So on Christmas Day, I will actually be doing a premiere with a bunch of other lovely folks who are mostly admittedly at this stage in the diamond painting community, but you could be a crafter in general. You don't have to be a specifically a diamond painting YouTuber, if that makes sense. But the idea is that we will be taking one hour time slots. We'll be putting the premieres in next to each other. There will be a playlist of all these different creators and if you feel lonely at all or if you don't have anyone to celebrate with, every one of us will be bringing you something different, you know, our own little, our own little kind of twist on things and I hope you join me for my hour. I know that in America it'll be pretty early in the morning by the time mine goes live but some people wake up early on Christmas uh, and some people can't sleep at night. So I will be giving more information about that on my channel uh, once we get closer to the time, but I look forward to making something special for you all if you feel lonely at all on Christmas day. At least there'll be a support network of us who are here to help you get through the day um, no matter what time it is. And while I don't know if I myself will be at the premiere, a premiere is basically where a video goes live on YouTube and the creator and other folks can chat in the live chat, but the creator themselves is not live. Does that make sense? Uh, they can't respond in real time. It's a pre-recorded video. So anyway, I just want to let you know that is Pippa Brown's brainchild. So thank you, Pippa, so much for bringing that to us. I meant to talk about that in my video on Wednesday, but I thought I'd stick it in here at the beginning. So I'm really looking forward to spending Christmas with you all, uh, even if it's just in a small way. And if you don't have time, that's okay, too. I totally understand. It'll just be something else to watch later on when you're full of when you're full of Christmas food and looking for something to do. Okay, let's get on with it. So um, today I wanted to share a few things. So we have a uh, beaded cross stitch, which I want to talk about first. Beaded cross stitch was my first foray into normal cross stitch. I started beaded cross stitch first. <laughs> Um, which is kind of weird, but I saw it on another channel here on YouTube and I fell in love. I love glass ble bleeds, glass beads, and um, I love the way that it looks on canvas. So I just wanted to show you all, oh, that looks way better than what it did on my computer. So I have to look at the screen here for a moment, but this is my clover beaded cross stitch and it is made up of glass beads. Isn't it so pretty? This is just scotch tape because the um, fabric is kind of a vinyl rubbery fabric. And this is all made possible thanks to Mrs. Coffee's generous gift of beading needles. Without these needles, it is very, very difficult to to do. In my opinion, I cannot thread the other needles, so 
thank you. <laughs> so this is this is something that I'm almost finished with it. I need to finish. Um, I'm over halfway done on that one, and then I'll make it into a little keychain. That'll be so cute. So that's that, and isn't it beautiful on this? Oh my gosh, on this camera it looks amazing. On that on the laptop it just looks ugh. Um, and another thing I was talking about was my full coverage beaded cross stitch kit, which I purchased back earlier this year. This is my first ever beaded cross stitch. If you're new here, if you're new to my channel, hi, <laughs> welcome. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, uh, little disclaimer, I am a little bit weird <laughs> and I like to go big or go home. And this is my first ever beaded cross stitch kit. Yeah. Yeah. I might finish this in my lifetime, maybe. I really want to make this a priority next year because I have so many things that I want to do that I, I would love to start all these different projects and stitch alongs and things. But I actually need to finish this. And if I keep buying all these patterns online, I'm never going to finish it. So <laughs> um, this is my priority. I've decided. I'm gonna make this a huge priority in my life next year. And isn't it gorgeous? Like it's it's all printed, but I've been using the actual the actual um, pattern. Sorry, I was looking for the word. There's a little booklet that comes with it of the pattern, uh, and this is as far as I've gotten. And that's just the tree in the sky. I can't wait to get to the this part. That's going to go so quick. Anyway, okay. So that is my beaded cross stitch. I got this on AliExpress earlier this year. Was it last year or earlier this year? Anyway, I got it. I got it. And um, they don't make it anymore. They don't sell these anymore because the beads are so heavy that it costs them a lot to ship, I guess. And uh, so they stopped. So there's only like one more kit and I'm really tempted to buy it. One more kit that I can find anyway. It's um, Blue Roses, but this is enough. This the one, one giant project is enough. <laughs> um, so yeah, that that is it for me, for me and being a cross stitch. Um, one thing that I did find uh, this in the past few weeks, which just arrived, is this, <laughs> you're going to laugh at me. I have really bad posture. Okay. And I have, um, my lower discs are disintegrating. Basically. I'm not old enough for this to be happening too. So I have decided to start looking after myself, right? Well, I was looking online and you know how, um, you know how your phone listens to you and gives you suggestions. Well, <laughs> mine gave me this one. It's a butt cushion. It's a butt cushion. And it's really, really soft and it's purple. Of course, I had to get the purple one. But isn't it cool? So this is supposed to support your um, pelvic bones. You know, your butt bones. The ones you sit on. And um, anyway, you just set it in your chair and then it allows your hips to sit quite nicely. Um, so anyway, this is a very cool thing. I didn't think that it worked, but it actually works. And it keeps my, it keeps me putting both feet flat on the ground, which I think is super important, especially when you're working on something that requires you to kind of very dainty handiwork is like, I feel like my posture D just goes away. You know, I just want to sit in my recliner, but if I sit on this cushion, I feel so much more, I don't know, peppy or something. So anyway, um, I got that online on through AliExpress as well. So I will go ahead and link that down below if you're interested. Something just slid. Anyway, um, so Let's move on to the whips and then we're going to go and look at all the stuff that I love online. Um, my first 
one that I'm, I'm actually kind of um, embarrassed by the, my lack of progress, but um, th this is my high tech. What is that? This is my high tech way of holding my um, my pattern. By the way, <laughs> um, I just brought it all in because I was like, whatever. Um, is my Harry Potter Letters to Hogwarts by Sarah Cunningham over at cunningcrossstitch.blogspot.com. Link in the description. This I have not really done much on. I have filled in some of the brown on the castle, and that was all I had time for this week. Uh, and last week I didn't touch it at all. Um, I made a decision after my last floss tube video to spend more of my time on my um, other whip because it's nearing Christmas and I wanted to do something Christmassy and I thought, you know, I'll have plenty of time next year to catch up on the frame and, you know, do the, do the outlines of all the pages and things uh, next year. But this I wanted to show you. This is my needle minder that I was talking about. Do you remember I said I'm, I'm getting something in the mail to make a needle minder? This is it. It's the, the beautiful mirror that's in the movie. And I converted this into a needle miner. This is actually like an amulet, like a, a necklace. And uh, yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, I wanted something different. You know, I wanted something that wasn't like all the others. And uh, so I know it's unique to me. This is mine and uh, I'm sure that you could make one exactly the same, but I'm just so happy to have it. And it just makes me kind of smile when I look at it as well. So there you go. Um, I have ideas instead of the train. So, okay, hear me out. So on this pattern, there is supposed to be the edge of the castle blends in with the train that comes from Hogwarts. I don't really like trains, uh, but having a train means that we have red floss, right? What else is red in Harry Potter? Yeah, howlers. So <laughs> I was thinking, I found a cross stitch pattern for a howler on Etsy. And I'm thinking that I might put a howler next to the castle. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I haven't finished, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm just not in love with the train. I don't really like trains. So, but the train is huge to Hogwarts. So I don't know. Your, your opinion is greatly appreciated. Uh, there have been so many modifications. So last time, uh, in floss tube three, I talked about modifications and things. And um, I believe I'll just take this side of the Q-snap off so you can see what I've done. Uh, I modified the first owl to be a snowy owl. So cute. Um, so this is, this is not the original owl. This is a snowy owl. Uh, then we have we have Hogwarts, and then it's supposed to be a train and another owl. Someone came up with a little cat. Someone made a little cat that's the same height as the owl. And then another person made Buckbeak. I am so overwhelmed with choices. Like, people are being so creative, which is why I was like, maybe I should do a howler, because then, you know, it'll be mine, you know? I don't know. We'll see how hard it is, uh, but I have the I have the pattern ready and everything if I want to do it. That's Harry Potter. Hopefully I will find some time to work on it, but again, I'm really not that pushed. I only work on it when I really want to. Um, and honestly, I haven't been picking it up. It's just so brown. I'm a, I'm a color person. Like, colors motivate me to do stuff. So the more rainbow or bright colors it is, the more likely I will be to actually work on it because I like bright. So speaking of bright colors, we have the Nutcracker Parade. I'm going to take it off while I talk to you. I did so much work on this. 
this week and I have all my orts in the corner. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Does anybody else store their orts in the corner? Um, I travel with this daily, so that could be why. But um, I had the pleasure of working on this finally in bed while I was relaxing this morning. I'm only going to take that side off. So here we are after two weeks. Let's stand up so you can see her better. Amazing. I've just finished the Mouse King this morning and filled in all the little candies on the carriage. This looks so amazing. I am in love. I hope I didn't make any mistakes. I hope I have plenty of room. There's only one more float that goes here. I, I'm sure I centered it right, but it, it just has me, you know, because I love it so much. I don't want anything to go wrong with it. The entire pattern has released. So the, the pattern releases are done. Uh, and I don't know about the community aspect of the stitch along at all because I've just been working on this solo. But, oh my goodness, <laughs> the colors... The characters, it is just darling. And I'm sorry, my my um, camera's just in the way of the uh, <laughs> of the um, the sun there. But anyway, gorgeous, love it. I'm gonna try to finish the carriage uh, this week, and then I'll move on to. Is her name Marie? and the Nutcracker. They'll be in this float. But the Sugar Plum Fairy is just adorable. Love it. I did the mouth and the back stitching, and then I don't know if you can see this, because it is a front-facing camera, so it's hard to, to see. Come on. There we go. He's got these little back stitching lines in his cape. Oh, so cute. Anyway. That's <laughs> that's the um, Nutcracker Parade by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I'm so proud that I got so much work done on that in the last two weeks. I really have been working hard. And guys, like, I know I'm new to floss tube. I'm new to stitching. But I didn't realize how much work and how long it takes to stitch something. Just like it. It boggles my mind. I'm so used to diamond painting. Um, framing video? It was a mess. It was a hot mess. So maybe later. But framing, or not framing, uh, diamond painting takes so much less time. Uh, and so you, you can't put them on the same scale. You know what I mean? I'm going to drink some cold tea real quick. Okay, let's talk real quick, very, very quick about Etsy. Uh, <laughs> I have very few um, needle and cover minders left, um, but this weekend I will be releasing a, a new, like a whole bunch of stuff. So I have these beautiful cats that are hugging each other, sun and moon. Those are going in the shop. And then I have, that's it for, yeah, that's it for the needle minders. And then I'll have diamond painting pens as well, but I won't talk about that here. But these, I've got 14 of these. Uh, so not that many. I tried to get more, uh, but funds and things. So these will be up. Um, and if you didn't, if you don't follow my diamond painting, that's fine. Uh, just a quick word that there has been a change in the customs declaration form process. And now if you're sending anything that isn't a document from Ireland to the US, it means that a lot of more paperwork has to be filled out, which unfortunately means that the items that are going in my shop this weekend are going to be the last physical items that I will be putting into the shop. And once I sell out of these items, I will not be restocking them. So 
I'm really sorry to put any pressure on anyone, but if you do find something in the shop that you like, please consider purchasing it just because I'm not going to be bringing it back like I have in the past. And this, this is the decision that I've come to so far. Uh, I may change this a little bit in the future. People have suggested, oh, well, maybe if you pay more for shipping, um, because long story short, if I charge more for shipping, I can print the labels out at home, do all the work, and then just drop them off at the post office. But as it stands, for every single order that I, that I ship, uh, I have to go to my local post office and bombard them with all the packages. And I'm not comfortable with that. And I know they're not comfortable. And it's not their fault. And it's not my fault. But I only have so many hours in a day as well. So, And I'm just one person. Um, I can't force anyone else in my family to do this for me. So um, I'm coming to terms with it. But it means more time for crafting and stuff like that. So there's... There's a silver lining in there somewhere. I'm just, you know, struggling <laughs> with it at the moment. So anyway, Etsy will be updated this weekend. I hope you enjoy all the items up there. And yeah, um, okay, let's move on to, we're going to talk about uh, what I have found, what I've purchased, and what is on my wish list, because I think that is fun to talk about. Uh, so if you don't like that part, then sorry. Um, let's talk about what I bought in the last week. So I, I bought the butt cushion, uh, nice and comfy now. Um, and also, I don't know if you, if you watch a lot of floss tube and if you don't, I mean, I don't really watch that much floss tube, but there is a website called 1884 stitchery. It is run excuse me, it is run by someone who also does floss tube. I'm so sorry. I'm so new that like, I can't remember everyone's name. And anyway, uh, she has this entire section called charity like items. And so I bought a kit from the charities section um, and it is called, bear with me a second. I'm going to, I'm going to move over. So my camera quality is going to die, but you'll be able to see the screen and we'll do all that fun stuff that I was talking about doing last week. So one second. Hopefully you guys can see and hear me as I do this. So one of the things that I purchased, it's not here. Purchases. My most recent was this uh, Flossmas Stitchy Noel Ornament by Four Boys and a Newfoundland Girl, an L Girl. And I saw this on Michelle Bendy Stitchy's Floss Tube and I thought that it was so cute. And I have, I have some floss that'll work perfectly. I might substitute some colors and use my scrap fabric to, to work this up, but I do know some people who would really appreciate this. And I have buttons that I haven't used ever because <laughs> I had all these ideas, you know? I see something and I go, ooh, I could use that in something. So this is one of those things. Um, happy Christmas or joy, joya. Novel. I can't speak French. I'm not going to try. Anyway, the, the, what's the word? Proceeds for this, I think it's 50% go to muscular dystrophy. Um, and I'm very, very, very happy to support that charity. My cousin suffers as well. And I am helping or trying to help him with a GoFundMe that he started a few months ago. Um, so any and all don donations to him would be greatly appreciated. I will link him down in the description below. So if you're thinking that you want to donate to charity for Christmas instead of giving physical gifts, I would honestly really appreciate anyone's support in this matter. Um, but I will be doing, hopefully I will be doing an auction soon. So stay tuned. I would like to auction a few things that I have so that I can raise money for him. 
Another thing that I bought, if you're looking at the screen, is this 12 pocket mini flip. So this is something that I was, I mean, I was stocking bags plus, first of all. Um, and I've always really wanted one of the little floss buddies that Michelle uses in her in her floss tube. And anyway, this one, this pattern is going to work perfectly with the little um, galaxy unicorn that I'm going to be doing. Um, now, all of that stuff is not coming for quite some time. It'll be the new year before that arrives. So this has not arrived yet. The, there's two left as we speak. Um, I have one. <laughs> it's on the way. I thought it would be here for today, but it wasn't. And this is the charity item that I was talking about from 1884 Stitchery. This one is called Elizabeth Tight. Excuse me, <laughs> Elizabeth Tice, 1810. I do not know what possessed me. I'm not a really church-going type person, but this, I don't know, I don't know, there was something about it. And you can see the lady sitting on the bench here at the bottom with the kind of trellis of flowers and a deer and a coal bucket i'm really not sure what's beside her to be honest um but anyway i thought this was so beautiful and um yeah i thought it was a really nice poem beauty complete and majesty divine divine in all thy works adored creator shine Wherever I cast my wandering eyes around, the God I seek in every part is found. Pursuing thee, the flowery fields I trace, and read thy name on every spire of... It says grass, but it could be grace. I follow thee through many a lonely shade, and find thee in the solitary glade. I meet thee in the kind, refreshing gale that gently passes through the dewy vale. The pink, the jasmine, and the purple rose, perfumed by thee, their fragrant leaves disclose. Beautiful. Love it. Love the poem. Uh, so, I got that as well. And I'm really, really excited to, to add it to my stash. I, I don't know if I'll ever work on it. Maybe I will. Who knows? Who knows? It looks simple enough. I think if I look at it closely, I think there's four or five colors, maybe? Five? Five, six? I don't know. But um, yeah, beautiful, gorgeous, love it. Um, okay, so hmm, let's talk about why I decided to get a sampler. So I'm not exactly the prairie sampler type. Um, I know everybody kind of has their own, uh, what's, a, what's the word? They have their own style and their own unique, um, yeah, what they like and what they don't. Um, I'm sure that the Royal School of Stitching would frown on me, but I have never and may never do a stamp sampler in my life, but there is something that looks like a sampler that I really want to do, I'm very eager to do, and that is Owl Forest. So, Owl Forest. Um, I learned about Owl Forest before I watched Michelle's videos, but this is what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> let me just tell you, okay, so she, she unboxed the Queen of Hearts, which is just down here. Amazing, first of all, and if, if the kid ever comes out again, yes, but it's the Tsar, the Bat King who I would love to stitch, this guy. Uh, it's just so gothic and it's so beautiful. And I love that he has like these big chests of gold and he just looks so commanding and I love it. I love it. I love the fabric that it's on as well. The two, the two pictures are in different light and it's the same exact fabric. So in this one, you can see the thread a lot clearer 
and I only know that because I've studied it like crazy, but um, oh my gosh, like, and also it's purple, so yeah, I got it. I have to get it at some stage. Um, but obviously the the kit itself is quite expensive, so I don't know. <laughs> um, I think how much was it? Seventy five dollars or something? Oh no, ninety. Um, where was I looking? Oh, I was on the original site, on the Al Forest website, and it was like 75 euro, uh, which, yeah, I guess it's close. Anyway, um, yeah, gorgeous, love it. So I want an Al Forest, so I am stalking websites <laughs> to see. So one website that I came upon where you can buy Al Forest is this one, Marie Mirkresticom. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, it says this shop owner, shop owner is Polina and they're based in Russia. So if you can see here, there's lots of kits available from Al Forest, which ship from Russia. So that, that helps me cut down on cost um, because shipping is only about six euros from Russia and no customs that I know of as of right now. So anyway, they have lots and lots of kits. And of course, the one that popped out to me other than the whale is the frog princess. <laughs> so there's this beautiful frog princess. And I love the way that these are framed, by the way, they're just gorgeous. Um, isn't she adorable? Like, that headdress is so pretty. Like it's very, it's obviously it's very Russian, but it's so pretty, so pretty. Anyway, this is, this is one of the ones that I would love to do. Um, if for some reason I can never do the czar one, the, the back king. Um, but I have a soft spot in my heart for very Gothic things. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, if, if you, you know, I like cute things and I like kind of darker things, but yeah, anyway, that's just me. So these are things that I have purchased or that are on my wish list at the moment that are cross stitch related. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to give you a more personal update on what's going on otherwise. Okay, we're back. So another thing that's been happening with me recently that I haven't really been sharing uh, and going into too much detail about is that... <sighs> See, I really, want to, I really want to tell you the other things that are going on. But at the moment, I'm working on a secret project, which is diamond painting related. However, I will be doing a series which might interest you all as well. So if you're a cross stitcher or you know you only watch floss tube videos, you might like what's coming up next in my channel as well, even though it isn't really cross stitch related at all. Uh, I've been working with a group of ladies to do the Chris storybook countdown to Christmas. And basically it's us reading Christmas stories and doing that to crafting or whatever we want to be doing at that moment. And so <laughs> I cannot stress enough how much time I have attempted to put into this project and to do it to the best of my ability. And uh, the readings which I have chosen to do are quite long ones, very long ones. So if you're looking for something to put on in the background and you enjoy it, please, please consider coming back to my channel during the third week. No, is it the third week? Or the Hold on. Let me look at my schedule, my calendar here. It is from the 17th, I believe. No, the 16th. Anyway, uh, the third week of December, so I need to get cracking, and that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. So I hope you all really enjoy those videos that I'll be creating. They are 
me reading stories, Christmas stories, and crafting at the same time. So I do get a lot of comments on my voice and people who like to listen to me just put me on in the background, which I I find it strange, but thank you. I, I, I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be doing a quite a dramatic reading of A Christmas Carol, and that will be first. So I hope you really enjoy it. Um, as I am recording it at the moment, uh, the first chapter is an hour long. And there are five chapters, so there may be five one-hour videos, I don't know. Um, or I might combine them. Uh, and try to save your headache because I have two other stories as well. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. I'll talk to Marissa. But anyway, I hope that you join me on Christmas Day as well if you're feeling lonely or if you're feeling like, you know, maybe maybe you're getting ready for the holiday um, and maybe you just want to watch a video. You're welcome to join me on Christmas Day uh, as as well as the, uh, sorry, someone just pulled up in front of my house, as well as the storybook episodes, which will be back to back. So I'm looking forward to those and sharing those with you all as well. This weekend, I will, tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, today's Friday, oh my God. Tomorrow, I will be going live at the normal time, which is 6 p.m. British Standard Time or Irish time, and I hope you join me. I will be diamond painting tomorrow, and I hope you can make it. If you can't, that's okay too. I totally understand. It's Saturday afternoon for most people, most folks in the States. Um, but yeah, I look forward to that. This coming week, Sunday, I will have a post review for diamond painting. Monday, I have an unboxing. Um, Tuesday, I'm not sure yet. Uh, Wednesday is always my whip and chat day. Uh, Thursday, I like to throw in something really random. And Friday, I will have friend mail Friday because I did get friend mail this week. Yay. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for staying and watching my floss tube and catching up with me. I hope you had a good time as did I. I look forward to seeing you around... Oh goodness, it'll be the 20th when I see you next and hopefully I'll have lots to update you on uh, and hopefully I'll be nearer to completion on this while I put Harry Potter away. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video or go live. I'll see you all in my next video guys. Take care. Bye.